How do I get in? <laughs> hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today and this is my first massive tech unboxing. So if you didn't know, Amazon Prime Day has just passed and I have quite a few packages that arrived. And I was also in Portland for weeks, so quite a bit showed up when I was gone. And I'll be honest, I don't really know what half of this is. Let's find out what it is together. Of course, if you wanna get your hands on any of this stuff, there'll be links down below in the description. Whenever you click through those, I do make a small commission, so I do appreciate it when you click through it. I've got my trusty Gerber multi-tool here. Hmm, which one should we get first? So it looks like it is a battery backup that has a solar panel on it. It's from Never Dead. It's never dead. So you can charge your device and you can also recharge the external charger itself with the sun and then light up things and travel around with it with the compass. So this is a really great option if you're going hiking or camping and things like that. Yeah, pretty cool. This next one is uh, just a brown box. It says Terion. Carry on my way. Oh, cool, okay. This is actually a field monitor. You can actually hook this up to things like camera that I'm using right now to monitor it when you're running around filming things or if you have a gimbal, you could put it on that as well. It comes with a little ball head, so that's nice. And it hooks this. Oh, so if you wanted to, you could put it on the actual monitor and when you're outside, you can see the monitor a little bit easier. Looks like it's powered by the Sony MPF batteries and then you can plug in through HDMI, a full-size HDMI. Cool, thanks, Terion. This will go really, really well with one of the boxes that I have here. It's something that I ordered and I'm really Really, really excited to open it. It's gonna be the last one though. Let's open this big one right here. What in the world? All right, this is from BenQ. It's a screen bar e-reading lamp. It apparently has the Taiwan Excellence Gold Award of 2018 right there. So there's this bar right here, this little clip on here. So it has a weight on it, turns on. So this is really cool. You can change color temperature. So we know that the dude's way of figuring out if a light's good is looking directly at it. It's good. So the idea behind this is that you put it on your monitor and because of the light, your eyes don't strain as much. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Not sure if I would actually use this, but the design really is quite nice. Thanks for sending that out, BenQ. All right, let's open up one of these small ones. I totally know what this is. I ordered this before my Portland trip and they didn't arrive in time. They're actually some battery containers. With my Panasonic GH5S batteries, you just put them in here and you can close them up and secures it. There's even a ring around the lid to keep out water. And if you have an SD card, you can just store it in the lid. Super simple, I love these. All right, let's try this one. It's from Zuan, Zuanor. If you haven't noticed by now, I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna tell you that there are people that send me things. I have no idea what it is. I don't know why they send it to me but I always give them my address because I'm always curious to find out what kind of thing they want to give me. <laughs> so, all right, let's find out what this is. <laughs> okay, I might just save this for one of my episodes of Is It Any Good? If you don't know what that is, that's pretty much a series that I started where I take items that I haven't really taken a good look at or I don't know what it is, but I think it's probably gonna be bad and I review it and it's full of just ridiculousness. If you wanna check out the first episode of that, there's a link right up here in the card. What is this? More than one bottle. <laughs> Why is there a dog on here? <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. Oh my God. I'm a tech channel. Why am I being sent this? This is a water bottle for dogs. <laughs> Why would someone send me this? I got some water for this. The button right here, push down on it, and some water comes out. <laughs> Drink it away. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Oh, and in the same box from the same manufacturer, they sent me a USB C multifunction adapter. <laughs> they got one thing tech related in here, so good job. <laughs> What in the world? Let's open up uh, this one from Avatar Controls. It's a smart plug. Wi-Fi enabled capsule dual control smart plug. Oh, okay. So what's cool about this one over most smart plugs is that usually when you plug into one port, you get one port, but this one actually has two. It doesn't take up so much room. That's actually kind of nice. I'll have to give this one a shot later on. It works with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and if this and that. The Google Assistant logo is not the 
real logo. They just have like Arial as the font, so. Hmm. Anyways, thanks a lot, Avatar Controls, for sending this out. All right, let's open this one. Ooh. All right. Okay, we have a smart speaker by Tronsmart. It's the Element Mega, a 40 watt speaker. So this is only $50. Looks like it works with the TF card, has a micro USB in, a line in, NFC. Hmm. This top little area here has a volume slider on it, so that's cool. So play pause, a next and previous button as well. You know, I'm actually really surprised at how well this sounds for a brand that I've never heard of and how small it is. It has some decent low end to it and the stereo spread is actually quite decent. It's not anything that's gonna be like mind-blowingly amazing, but for the price and the size, this is actually pretty dang good. Thanks, Tronsmart. So this one's an Ion Wireless Plus. Ooh, guys, it's cloth. It has this nice kind of like red or maroon color, a nice cloth finish to it. A really clean design, I like it a lot. And good on you guys. A matching colored USB-A to USB-C cable. There's an LED that lights up when you're charging, so that's really nice. And I like the cloth surface because it's not abrasive on the phone. And this little ring that's right here is a little bit rubberized so your phone doesn't slip around. So this is a really cool charger. And look how tiny this is. Thanks for this, Iotti. So like I said, I'm uh, not quite sure what all this stuff is that's sent to me. And this seems kind of weird and flimsy. What is this? It says it's a bracelet, but they sent me a ring. I don't know why they would send me a ring. Why in the world is this being sent to me? <laughs> is this is this actually tea? Is this uh, what the kids call the icky sticky? <laughs> Dried butterfly pea flower tea. 50 grams of it. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> Looks really weird. Do you see this? This is from Give or Buy in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And I never ordered it from you. I uh, I don't know if you guys are picking up on what I'm picking up on. I think that this is a part of a scam. I'm getting a bunch of things sent to me that I never ordered. And it has nothing. It's like so grossly outside of what my channel's about. The scams are pretty much where they are buying the item, shipping it to some random person, and then leaving a five-star review on their own product. So they're gaming the review system. I don't know if you saw the article about this, but there's a couple that was getting a whole bunch of stuff sent to them that they never ordered and they couldn't figure out how to stop it. And it was just like junk. It was a scam, it's an Amazon scam. I think I'm just, I'm part of a scam. I don't know how to stop that. Do you guys know about this? Has, has this happened to anyone before? Okay, well, let's just keep opening some stuff. What in the world is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is this? Fit first official. Guys, I have no idea what this is. This is another scam thing. Is this a roller? <laughs> what is this? Guys, uh, I'm being scammed. <laughs> Isn't this what they did in like the romance era? They had those big little puffy things <laughs> in their little suits. This one's from Camera Pal. Moza Mint. Oh, I did order this. Oh, ho, ho. So I don't know if you've heard of the different camera stabilizers that are out there. There is the Zion, Zion Q, Smooth Q, that's out there. There's the uh, DJI. Osmo Mobile 2. What's really cool about the Moza Mini Me is it has a wireless charging plate on it. So if you have an iPhone 10 or Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, you can charge while you're shooting with it, which is really cool. Comes in this pretty sweet carbon fiber soft shell case. So this is one that I ordered uh, not too long ago, and I believe it's just $100. So it's about $30 cheaper than some of the other options that are out there. It's charging, it works. What is your pro whoa, what in the world? <laughs> Won't be able to do a full review of this one, so we'll probably have to save this one for a dedicated video. If you have any questions about this or even the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, I can uh, answer them down in the comments. All right, let's take this thing off. <laughs> All right, this is what I ordered last night for Prime Day. So this first one, it's actually kitchen tech. And my roommate had one of these and he bought it for $100 for the base model. And for Prime Day, they had the fully upgraded model with Wi-Fi available. For how much? $100. 
So if you don't know what a sous vide cooker is, it's essentially something where it slow cooks something in water. So you put a like a steak in a bag and you put different herbs and seasonings in there and then you can actually remote start this somewhere else and it'll cook it very slowly and you don't have to worry about it. And what will happen is it'll make the meat so dang tender that you could actually cut it with the wrong side of a knife like my roommate did earlier tonight. It'll come out perfect whether it's medium rare or rare and then you just sear it real quick and then you have a great steak. So this is the Anova Precision Cooker with Wi-Fi. Has an app for Google Play and iOS. Oh, this looks premium. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to make a full video on this one just because it's ridiculous. It's still tech, it's got the Wi-Fi's in it, right? <laughs> Let me know some recipes of what I should cook with this and uh, we can include it in the next video. So you'll, you'll make a little cameo in there with your little comment. This one I've been waiting over a year for and with Prime Day, I was able to finally get it. It's the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. So some of you know this, but I am also an audio engineer. I've mixed artists like Dustin Kensrue from Thrice, uh, Me Without You, helped out with Gunger, and a whole bunch of other different artists. I tend to look for products that lean more towards what an audio engineer is looking for, what the actual mixing engineer intended. I don't like headphones that tend to boost tons of bass or just scoop everything. I like something that sounds a bit more true to life. Comes with a nice little baggie. This is the M50X, which just includes the ability to have a detachable cable, which is really nice because if a cable breaks, you can just buy another cable. And since these are kind of a standard, if anything breaks on it, you could probably replace it. So instead of getting a whole new set of headphones, you can just get a little piece. This is why there's a joke among the audio engineer community that says, no highs, no lows, must be bows. Well, it's because they're using a cheap speaker. Beats and Skull Candy will do the same thing. They'll take a cheap speaker and then they'll boost frequencies that are typically pleasing, so low end and whatnot. And you'll pay a premium for this really, really cheap speaker. So don't fall for it. Buy something that has a clear, even response, and then just use EQ on your phone. Don't make it baked into the headphones themselves. Oh boy, we're getting close, guys. It's my first cell phone that's been sent to me. This is crazy. New mobile, it's a G3. Do you believe that this is like a $200 smartphone? And it does have some sacrifices. It comes with a MediaTek processor, has a 5.7 HD IPS display. There's a fingerprint sensor on the back. And crazy enough, the screen has curved edges. All right, let's take this little plastic off. So here you go for you crazy ASMR people. Look at that little reflection. That's pretty good, right? USB-C. So the back does feel plastic. It's a $200 phone. So this will be one that we'll have to wait for the full review for. So if you want that, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I post it. All right, two more to go. Oh, there are cases. Oh, for the new mobile. Good job, guys. You, uh, you teamed up. Thanks a lot, new mobile and Tadia. I really appreciate this. This is the one I've been waiting for. It's from B&H, so you know it must be good. Yes. But this, my friends, is the DJI Ronin S. We'll have to do a full review of this one later on too. Check out that case. It's even a locking mechanism on here? What in the world? <laughs> so if you have a DSLR camera and it'll stabilize your footage, you can get a lot of cinematic shots with it. We're gonna have to dedicate a whole video on this one. There's just way too much to go over and I am really excited about this. So if you're excited about this one, let me know in the comments as well. What's really cool about this one is it works really well with my GH5S. It even has a little focus knob on the side here. It comes with a little mini tripod so that you can just set it down somewhere. It's that little monitor is gonna really, really work well with this gimbal. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this time with me as I have my first massive tech unboxing filled with crazy, crazy gear, some amazing things, and some really crazy scammy things, which I'm just really shocked about. But anyways, if you wanna see more of these videos, let me know, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, hit that bell icon, and maybe YouTube will actually send you a notification. Probably not. Let me know what you got on Amazon Prime Day, if you got anything at all, and I appreciate you hanging out with me. How do I get out of here? I should show you how messy it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. I had to clean my room to do this unboxing. I'm gonna need to clean my room again. See you later. Until next time. Oh, oh.